Today we are going to be taking a look at the new isolation features in Photoshop CC. Previous versions of Photoshop brought us layer filtering methods, but you will notice that in the filter dropdown in Photoshop CC, there is now a new option called Selected. Now let's say that we wanted to single out the red, green, and yellow circles. Now first make sure and select these layers, and then set your filtering to Selected. Now in order to enter this isolated mode, you can also take and turn on the switch for layer filtering, or you can go up to select and then down to isolate layers. You can also right click on the layers in the stage and then select isolated layers. So as you can tell, there are quite a few ways to engage the isolation. Now if you want to turn off the isolation mode, you can simply turn off the isolation switch. So once you are in isolation mode, you will see that only the selected layers now appear in your layers panel. So in here you can do whatever you like to the layers. If you reorder or group the layers, the changes will still be there when you exit the isolation. Now when using shape layers, you also get the special ability by using your black path selection tool to enter isolation mode by double clicking on a layer. Now with these new isolation features, I especially like grouping layers and then singling out the groups with isolation. Now I found that to isolate a group, you must first open the group and then enter isolation mode. So overall, isolation is a great new addition to Photoshop CC as it can help you make a complicated PSD with hundreds of layers much more digestible. So as always, if you enjoyed this Photoshop tutorial, be sure to subscribe, rate, comment, and share with your friends.